Hello, Paul. Welcome to Pitch Talk. Yeah. Thank you very okay. much. So, I'm Shamnas. Okay, so, Shamnas. can you please introduce me about yourself? Okay. Uh, my name is Paul Maloney. Okay. I am the uh, responsible for the PGM V8 motorcycle. Okay. Uh, PGM is my initials. And seven years ago, I had an idea to build this bike. Okay. And um, yeah, it's, it's take, taken that long to bring it to the position that it's in. This is a, pro, a working prototype. We use it for testing. This particular bike has done probably 10,000 kilometers in testing. And um, yes, we're hoping to bring it to the market. Okay, so PGM is your brand name? PGM is my, is my company and, brand uh, name, yes. What's the name of the bike? The PGM. It's called a PGM. PGM. Yes. Okay, the bike itself is called PGM. Correct. Uh, your brand name? That is it. That is it. Yes. Okay, so both same. Yes, correct. All right. So you claim that this is the most powerful production motorcycle in the world. Yes. So can you tell about that one, please? Okay. Um, the engine is um, made completely from scratch. Okay. It is a two-liter V8. Okay. So um, you have made a V8 out of two-liter. Two one-liter okay. Yamaha R1 engines. All right. Okay. Yes. Um, we have 334 horsepower uh -huh. at the output shaft. Okay. At the, the counter shaft and 214 newton meters of torque okay um, riding this bike is um yeah so far no one's had more than 28 percent throttle it is not possible it's not possible no. to <laughs> this this will this will spin the back wheel at uh -huh. 200 kilometers an hour in six gear okay in sixth gear you are telling the uh, we can experience a uh, Back yes. spin? Yes, back spin. <laughs> 200, 200 kilometers an hour in six, in six gear. gear. Yes. Okay, okay. The torque is, is absolutely phenomenal. So it's like uh, 334 bhp at yes. 12,800 rpm yes. Yes. and uh, 214 newton meters of torque at 9,500 rpm. Correct. So how do you combine this motorcycle with other uh, big motorcycles like the H2R? The, well, the, for a start, the H2R is a one liter. Yes. Four cylinder, yes. but supercharged. Yes. So this one is naturally aspirated. Okay. If we wanted to put a supercharger on that, maybe we get five or six hundred horsepower. But I am not interested in supercharging. Okay. That's for me cheating. Supercharger is cheating. Yeah. <laughs> supercharger and turbo. You know, you take an engine, you bolt it on. Anyone can do that. But to build it from from the beginning is it takes a little bit more. Okay, so you say that supercharger and turbocharger is like, you know, uh, if you are manufacturing a bike from the scratch. Yes. If you are more passionate about a vehicle, if you are more passionate about building a, an engine from the scratch. Correct. You won't use a supercharger no, and turbocharger. No. Don't get me wrong, they are very legitimate uh, way to get horsepower. Uh -huh. But eh, it's not, not really. Alright, so recently I... Uh, recently, I got to interview uh, Marek Richman. So he is from UK. So okay. he is the design chief of uh, Aston Martin. Okay. Yes. So uh, they have a new product with them, yes. the Aston Martin Vulcan. Yes. So they also don't. They have not used a supercharger or else a turbocharger. Yes. yes. Okay. <laughs> Good. I like this man. <laughs> he, yeah. He has my heart. <laughs> no. Look. Yeah. There are many ways to go about something to come to the same end point. Uh, and we chose not to. With with two liters, um, it is enough. You know, at the moment we have 334 horsepower. I can guarantee um, we can get over 400 reliable horsepower. And who needs more than 400 on a motorcycle? You know. That's lunatic. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Okay, so you, uh, any uh, reports on the top top speed figures or something? Well, once again, this bike is, is a, as you can see, is a naked bike. Okay. And the problem with naked bike is, of course, that it has a, um, a practical top speed because of the wind factor. Yes. Um, we are not chasing top speed. Uh, you know, we, we claim that horsepower because that's what it is, and eventually the back wheels to start spinning. So top speed. Yeah, if you put a fairing on it, for sure it would do 350 kilometers an hour. There's no reason why not. But if you're looking for top speed, the first there are two things: power to weight ratio and aerodynamics. 
So, you know, increase the aerodynamics of this machine, the power to weight ratio is already there. So the PGM now it's all about raw power? Yes, correct. <laughs> Alright, so uh, how much does it cost? Uh, at the moment, 180 US. US 180,000 US. So, when will be the first delivery of your bike? Uh, they are made to order. Okay. Um, because they are made to order, uh, we have the facility for customizing. Okay. Um, things like ergonomics, um, colors, you know, all, all the rest. We have you know, the facility to customize it. Uh, from the placement of the deposit, one year. Okay, so you are the only man behind this bike. I mean, you. you I have a design team, okay. but I'm the only one working full time. Full time. Yes. Okay, so you are from Australia. I am from yes, outside of Melbourne, Melbourne, Australia. Melbourne. All right. Yeah. So, uh, uh, how did you uh, get this idea? I mean, uh, you are passionate about biking. You are passionate about building your my own back, bikes. My background is I spent 25 years in Europe. Okay. Uh, working in MotoGP and World Superbike. Cool. I also had uh, 12 months at Sauber Formula One team. Okay. Uh, my background is mechanical engineering. Okay. But always been passionate about bikes. Okay. And yeah, just about 10 or 12 years ago, I had this idea to make this V8, and uh, the opportunity came up. I came back from Europe. When I say back, back to Australia from Europe, about seven years ago and then took the opportunity to start this project Super. and it's taken me seven years seven years it. yes for the mighty pgm to take yes. birth <laughs> correct okay, yeah cool um so. part of the problem in getting it this far has been that i've that i've totally funded it myself okay. and um you know it's it's hard it's it, hard it's, yeah i understand it, it really and it's hard. a long time you know seven years for yeah to, to build a bike to build a bike and to yes. come to yeah to come to this point after seven years okay so this is the first uh i mean this is the first time the bike is bike been, is being displayed yeah, apart, uh, outside australia yes apart from that article in the magazine uh -huh. uh, this is the first real show of the bike okay okay so when are you giving away uh, the uh, world to take a look at the bike i mean uh, for the other journalists of other countries are you planning an event or something no there's been there's been a lot of interest uh -huh. um, i've had many journalists ask, asking um, for information and interviews and stuff like that so we plan to do that in the next few months few. so actually if you look on the internet at the moment there is there is quite a few articles okay yeah, um, yeah. And there's been quite a few magazines written articles as well. So as of now, this is the only bike? This is the only bike, yeah. Only. This is our working prototype. All right. We are still refining, you know, testing, changing small, small things. Okay. okay. But we're, because of my background in racing and engineering, we got this bike very close the first time. You know, we only have minor changes to only do. minor changes only minor changes okay but it looks great actually thank you very much pgm cool all the best Paul. all right thank, thank you thank so you. much okay